Okay, got some new rubbers for the tractor. Well, not new, I guess. They're off the, uh, these are off the red car I have out front. As you can see, they're pretty well the same thing. Four bolt pattern. Because as you can tell in the mudding video, with me and Dan, I wasn't getting that much traction. Even though these lugs still seem to have a decent amount of depth to them. Just wasn't flicking the mud. So we got a bit of a wider tire. And I'm working on cutting it out at the moment. The only thing I'm not liking about these is the rims is bigger and it seems a bit heavy. I may end up breaking the two moon pins in this left wheel. It makes quite a chunk sometimes. Because this wheel isn't, the hub isn't welded on, it's got two moon keys that hold it in place. And uh, I have a feeling they're gonna, they're gonna go. So I may have to do like four tack welds or something so that I can grind it off if I need to. So yeah, just starting to cut out the new ones. Not sure whether I'm going to do a, like take this one out and do a straight bar pattern, or if I'm going to do this one and do a staggered, I'm, I'm probably going to do a staggered lug pattern. Not sure. I'm even thinking about leaving these two middle lines solid for now. Because that'll help if I do any uh, road or hard surface driving. It'll stop these side nubs from getting burnt down so fast. These tires aren't too bad. Uh, forwards grip is pretty good, but I have no braking or reverse grip whatsoever with the stock car tread. Mm. So yeah, that's the next update. Got some new rubbers. They're a bit bigger, so it changed the gear ratio slightly. And I also have an idea for this chain right here. I'm going to put another sprocket either on this side or this side. This one will have to move over a bit so that I can put another one on. That way I can just stop and uh, pull the spring up and change gear. That way I'll have a high and a low. One for speed and one... well this would be the, the high gear for doing all my normal stuff, and then I'll have a smaller one for uh, park cruises and whatnot, so I don't have to have it ringing out. So yeah, it'll be a two-speed, and because it's got the spring on it, all you gotta do is pull up on the wheel, and it'll slack the chain enough to get it off and put it on the smaller gear. So that way she'll be a two-speed. Fix my seat. My support bar is broke. Things always trying to fall apart somewhere. The hell yeah, like in that one video where the fucking shifter handle fell off, that was hilarious. It always makes it home though. That's the best part about it. 
Yeah, it tries to fall apart and break things. Like when the diff lock breaks, it still drives home. Just tries to spin the one wheel all the time. Same with everything else. I've broken the steering and everything, but it always still works. I'll just have like hardcore tow out problems on the way home or something. Because <laughs> the steering bar is all bent as shit. I'm trying to think if we ever actually had to tow it home. Yeah, we did the one time because the clutch broke. I could have drove it home, but it would have been a pain in the ass trying to lift the clutch with my my boot. So we ended up throwing the front end in the back of Dan's white Cavalier that I was towing in the one video with the ass end on the on the road, <laughs> plastered in mud. It was hilarious. So we're driving down friggin' uh, what's that, not Springbank, Southdale, with the ass end of the tractor hanging out of the back of the car, and of course the tractor's covered in mud, so once he gets up to like, what was it, 50k or so, the mud starts flying off all over the place, it just plastered the back of his car, the inside of the trunk had two big tire lines on it, it was hilarious. <laughs> And as you go around the corners, you could hear the tires squealing a little bit because of the diff lock as it's dragging the ass in around the corner. <laughs> good times, good times. Me and Dan are hoping to get out again soon. Uh, if we can, we're going to try and get out to our buddy Rob's place. Because he's out in the boonies and he's got lots of like just open space to play in. We don't really have a lot of space around here anymore. We can play in... I mean, all the parks are legal, but you can't just go in there and start tearing shit up because it's a public park. <laughs> and, uh, as you can see from our videos there, Home Depot is just about gone. Where I was drifting is the same spot that me and Dan were jumping our tractors. The, the jump's gone, everything's gone. They're, dozing it for new buildings so yeah basically all I do is it's really time consuming but if you do it on a warm day the rubber's not too hard and yeah you just chisel away at her obviously you need a pretty sharp chisel too As you can see, this one's been freshly sharpened. It's like a razor. And that's it. I mean, yeah, it is a pain in the ass to cut all these off, but... I mean, you can't complain when you get the tires for free. get the tires for free, do a little bit of cutting and you end up with some decent decent off-road tires. And because they're street tires, the rubber is usually fairly uh, like hard and dense, so it won't wear down as fast as ATV tires which are made out of stuff like this, which is really soft and flexible and burns down pretty damn quick. Surprise these front tires are actually doing as good as they are. So there you go, there's the updates, the new tires. And I'll let you know what happens after I get a couple things finished.